to my first vlog. So with the price of food just continually going up over the last year, my wife and I have tried to start growing as much of our own food as we can. So today we actually want to start an indoor herb garden because a lot of times we'll buy like a bunch of cilantro for like two or three dollars and you only end up using like maybe 20, 30 percent of it and the rest of it kind of goes to waste and it's like why do that when I can spend $3 on a bag of seeds, grow it myself, and just have cilantro whenever I want, you know? Because sometimes I will maybe want some cilantro on tacos, but I won't actually go buy it because I don't want to spend like the $3 when I know I'm only going to use like 20% of it. So we want to just have like our own herb garden in our apartment. So that's what I'm going to do today. But first I have two dog walks that I have to go do that I'm getting paid for. And then we're going to get to getting the herb garden started. So this is Marshall, AKA Marshy. This was my first dog walk of the day. I walked Marshy for 30 minutes today and I got paid $19 to do so. This was actually my third walk with Marshy and I do have future walks with Marshy already booked coming up in the near future. He is such a sweet dog and he likes to pick where we go on our walks, so I usually let him dictate where we go. These two here, the one with the more brown fur is Finnegan, and then the one with the black fur is Keanu, and this walk was a little bit different for me. I've never had this happen before. Oh, here are some mushrooms that I found, which I thought were adorable. Anyway, when I got to this walk, I read the notes, and it turns out they're actually dog sitting for a third dog named Goose and they actually wanted me to walk all three dogs but not at once. They actually wanted me to walk the two huskies for 30 minutes and then come back and walk Goose for another 30 minutes which I was okay with as long as they didn't want me to walk all three at the same time for the full hour. I felt like I was getting paid fairly because it would have been extra for me to walk all three dogs at the same time. These are such sweet dogs. They had a lot of fun playing with each other and having a good time. They really enjoyed their walk. Huskies are usually really energetic, but these two were pretty calm. And Goose here is a huge St. Bernard. I swear, he's probably about my size. He probably weighs about as much as me, and I weigh 140 pounds. He's a big boy, but he was a gentle giant for sure. Um, so on this walk, I walked for an hour in total, and I got paid a total of $32. It was a really fun walk, and again, I actually have walks scheduled with these dogs again coming up in the very near future. You're so cute. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness. You're so sweet. Come here, Goose. Oh, you needed some water after your walk. Oh. Bye, Goose. Bye. So we're walking up to like the plant nursery that's not far from where we live. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah, and they have a lot of seeds and stuff there. Um, so we're gonna get all of the seeds that we need for our little herb garden. We already have basil and like green onions, but some of the other things we wanna get is like parsley, cilantro, or dill, mustard, um, and several kind of things like that. So we're gonna go see what seeds they have and what we can get.
got all the seeds that we're looking for. We've got sage, thyme, rosemary, mint. We're gonna use mint for like teas. Uh, parsley, oregano, chamomile. That's also gonna be for teas. Dill, cilantro, arugula, and mustard. So these are gonna be all the herbs plus basil and then uh, Tokyo Long White Onions, which we already have. And that's going to be our entire herb garden for now. I already have like a watering can, but every time I come here, I always, I just want all of them because they're just so pretty. Like, like I really like this one too. Like this one, like this is just so cute. Like, I just want all of these. I like this one too. I like having a bunch of different shades of green, so like this would be really nice. I just want them all, but I can't afford that. <laughs> We got all the seeds for the herb garden, so we're gonna go get all these planted. But first, coffee! And then we're gonna go to like QFC next door and get some tea for Kelsey. For our herb garden, we actually do need some more potting soil, so we've got some organic potting soil here for $6.99, but I can't get this right now. We're gonna go in and get Kelsey some tea, and then we're gonna walk home, and then we will drive back to pick up a couple bags of this. What kind of tea did you get? I got organic. Someone help me out with this. <laughs> It, I kind of want to say enchilada, even though I know it's not that. Enchilada plus, and it supports <laughs> immune function. Enchilada plus, there we go. Enchilada plus tea, that's what we got. <laughs> It does have an Emily Dickinson quote, which I love. Um, How strange that nature does not knock, and yet does not intrude. Pretty good. Tastes like herbal tea. <laughs> On a scale of <laughs> 1 to 10, how do you rate the enchilada tea? <laughs> I give it a 10. We've got 13 herbs that we're planting. I've got my 13 pots right here. These were outside all winter, so they were pretty dirty. So I kind of rinsed them and scrubbed the outside. I mean, they're not perfectly clean, but that's totally fine. Um, all of them have one of these in there. These are to make sure that like when you water the plants, like a bunch of dirt doesn't like wash through the bottom. All of them have that except for these two, because I guess I was just short two of them, but whatever um, our window seal only has room for 11 of these which is fine because we actually have like some little hydroponic things on the counter um, so i can put these on the counter and they'll actually get light from those hydroponic things so that's totally fine so time to fill these up which is going to take me 10 seconds give or take about 30 minutes <laughs> So now I have potting soil in all of the pots. So I'm gonna go make labels for all of these real quick. So that way we remember what is in what, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have labels in all of these, I'm just gonna use a pencil to put a small hole in the middle. And I'm gonna put three seeds in each one. Um, and then if they all germinate, then we can thin them out after that. But that, we just wanna make sure that we get at least one plant. I mean, I want, I want one plant in each pot. So if all three germinate, then we will uh, just thin out two of them. I'll show that later on in another video when uh, that time comes. The only one that I'm not doing three seeds in one pot is going to be the Tokyo Long White Onions. And the reason I'm doing more in here is because A, this is a bigger pot, plus they can be very close together. So I'm probably going to do, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six around the edges, and then two in the middle. That'll give me eight little onions in this one pot. We're gonna just 
snip those off to use the greens in cooking, and then that'll be it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these seeds in here. our indoor herb garden started. We've got 11 of the 13 herbs here and then we've got our onion and basil on the counter. They've been watered and that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see how it all turns out and I will see you in the next one.